Welcome to the Zor Adventure Center. This video will give you basic safety information to help you get on the water and have fun in a kayak or on a stand-up paddleboard. Conditions can vary by season and can change quickly hour to hour, so it's a good idea to dress in layers. Avoid wearing cotton clothing. and doesn't keep you warm when it's wet. Items made from fleece or wool are great choices. Combine these with a layer to block the wind or splash and you'll be comfortable all day. Water shoes or sneakers that can get wet protect your feet in the boat and on shore. Assume everything you bring will get wet. Remember to prepare for the elements. Bring plenty of water, a snack, some sunscreen, and bug spray. If you're going to bring a cell phone, put it in a waterproof case. Wearing a PFD whenever you're on the water is common sense. Vermont state law requires that one PFD per person be on each board or kayak at all times and that all children under the age of 13 wear a PFD at all times. Your vest should fit low and snug. Make sure to clip every clip and zip every zip. All PFDs provided by Zor Adventure Center will have a whistle attached. Use this to attract the attention of other paddlers or boaters while on the water. Whenever you're carrying your board or kayak, make sure to protect your back by lifting with your legs. You can use the integrated grab handle to make moving the board a breeze. Kayaks can be moved by pairing up and using the handles to double carry. They can also be carried on your shoulder. When getting started, it's important to use a calm location protected from wind and waves. If it's too windy, consider not going out. When getting on the water with a sup, watch out for your board's fin. In shallow water, the fin can be damaged. Wade out knee-deep with the board between you and the water before getting on. Kneel on the board with your knees, shoulder width apart, on either side of the board's handle. Practice paddling around on your knees before standing up. When you are ready to stand up, get a little forward speed. The board is much more stable when it's moving. To stand on your board, place your paddle across the board in front of you. Tuck your toes under your feet, Look out across the horizon, and one at a time, bring your knees up to your chest and stand up. Remember to keep your knees slightly bent and your feet relaxed, about shoulder width apart on both sides of the handle on the board. You should come back down to your knees whenever you're in shallow water or feel unsteady. Here are a few tips to make getting into a kayak easier. Use your paddle as a stabilizer. Position the kayak so that it is parallel to shore in knee-deep water. Place your paddle behind the cockpit rim with one blade gently resting on the lake bottom. Now you can sit down into the kayak, making sure to keep pressure on the paddle shaft. Once you are settled, just put your legs in and you are ready to paddle. The kayak's foot pedals are easily adjusted for comfort and performance. To adjust, simply reach into the kayak and grab the adjustment rod. Lift to release. Now you can push away from you to lengthen or pull toward you to bring the pedals closer in. You want the balls of your feet resting comfortably on the foot pedals with your knees slightly bent. To adjust the seat, simply find the pull tabs and tighten or loosen to your comfort. To adjust the height of the seat back, simply pull the webbing between your legs to raise or push the gray tab to lower. Ideally, you want to be sitting up straight but comfortable with your feet and thighs in connection with the boat. The mountains of southern Vermont are beautiful, but they can serve up variable weather that can make paddling a challenge. Summer storms, high winds, or lightning can pop up without warning. We ask that on windy days or days with a questionable weather forecast, you explore the sheltered coves close to shore or close to your pickup point. This allows you to get off the water quickly in the case of a thunderstorm. If it becomes windy while you're on the water, paddle to your pickup point, or if necessary, just to the closest shore. It is important to remember that the lakes and rivers of southern Vermont are often multi-use bodies of water shared by many types of craft. Power boats can be a hazard to paddlers, especially when the water level is low and they are restricted in their movements. Please remember that kayaks can be difficult for power boats to see, so we recommend you stick close to shore. Paddling in a group not only makes the entire group more visible, but allows paddlers to assist each other if they get into trouble on the water. If you end up taking an unplanned swim during your time on the water, don't panic. The other members of your group will help you. If you are close to shore, it's easy to gather up your paddle and boat and calmly swim them to the closest safe shore. Another option is for another paddler to bump your kayak into shore. This is a great technique and it's fun too. 
If you are too far out to swim or bump your boat back to shore, have another paddler stabilize your boat while you climb back in. Once back in the boat, you can splash water from the cockpit to make your boat so that you can paddle back to the shore. Our staff is here to help you have a great day on the water. They will answer your questions and discuss the best place to paddle that day. For safety, it's best to discuss a planned route and return time and stick to it. Have fun!